Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, powerhouse hobbies and wives, I'm back again with another review to brighten up your lives. Today I have for you a sort of double review. It's uh, two fragrances. But before I go into that, I'd first of all like to make some excuses. I know I haven't been with you for a little while, and for that, I apologise from the bottom of my bottom. My excuse is, the dog ate my Aventus. Now, I don't have a dog or a Ventus, but if I did, I'd wish it had have done. Probably, because I'm not the world's biggest Aventus fan. I have tried it twice on skin, and both times I thought, yeah, that's nice and good. But I have fragrances that are nice and good that don't cost 250 quid, like Aventus does. Right? Now, I'm not getting down on people who like Aventus because I know it's a good fragrance, but it's just, for me, it's too expensive for what it is. Okay. Aventus is one of those fragrances that gets a lot of love in the fragrance community. It also gets a lot of stick in the fragrance community. It's kind of one of those love or hate things, the same way that Dior um, Sauvage is, you know. Some people love it, some people hate it. There isn't really sort of anywhere in between, it doesn't seem. It's one of those, what, it's one of those things. Um, so anyway, the fragrance is, well, the first one I have for you today is from the house of Armaf. And the fragrance of which I speak is none other than, to start with, none other than Club de Nuit Intense Man, the original spray version. This one was released in 2015. I don't know who the perfumer was. I'm not even sure if anyone does. Um, and is a Aventus clone. It's sort of its own fragrance as well. Um, it, it doesn't, in appearance, try to be Aventus or anything like that, but it's, it's right, widely regarded as being an Aventus clone, and the notes are exceptionally similar. Um, I will put the notes up here, and I'll tell you what I can remember of them. I know that we have lemon, we have musk, we have the struggle, uh, pineapple, blackcurrant, vanilla, patchouli, apple, jasmine, I think, and some rose, a couple of other, ambergris, that might be it, there might be one or two I've missed there, but that is, that's the, the essentially what it is. But to me, uh, a birchwood, obviously birchwood, um, to me it is a lemon bomb. This screams lemon at me. LEMON! And when I say lemon, I mean it's, it's got a cleaning product aspect to it. It does have that kind of pledge type of thing that people mention quite often to me, and it's also quite synthetic to my nose. But I still like it. It's very, very strong. I have the old silver cap version. There was a reformulation sometime after 2017, I believe, or during 2017, possibly, and they changed the cap, the, the, the sprayer, to a black one. And that seems to be how you tell whether you've got a new one or an old one, apart from the actual strength of the thing itself. It's, for me, the performance is, is nuclear on this one, and I'm difficult to please with fragrances. I mean, for me, it takes a Amouage Interlude, a um, Mansera Black to Black, or Jacques Bogart One Man Show Gold Edition to go, All right, all right, fair enough, that's strong. This does that to me. This makes, to me, it's ridiculously powerful. Now, in Fragrantica, if you look at the votes for Siage, which is a trail or wake, but essentially what people are describing as the strength, then it seems 50-50 split between moderate and heavy. Now, where those people who say it's moderate are, been, what they've been doing, I don't know. Maybe they've been smelling something really strong just before they smell this. I don't know. But I don't understand how anyone can say it's moderate, because I think it is beastly and nuclear. So, it's piercing, it's sharp, it's fresh, it's a bit scratchy and synthetic and a bit spiky and it is bright and zingy, uh, but it does have that sort of chemically sort of nature to it where it's, it smells synthetic. Um, it, it's, it, I know that people often, often say they get loads of compliments with this one. I haven't personally had any compliments with it apart from, from my, my nearest and dearest, um, but I don't wear it very much. I do like it, but I don't wear it that often. I think there's about 20 mil gone from that. I've got a torch out to have a look through it. You can't see in there because it's black, but if you get a torch, you can see through, and I think it's about 20 mil gone. So I do like it. 
Um, how good an Aventus clone it is, I'm not entirely sure because I haven't done a side by side with them. And like I said, I've only tried the Aventus twice. And who, if I tried it more, I might really, really like it and want some. That's probably why I don't try it anymore because I don't want to spend £250 on a perfume. Or other perfumes to worry about, right? So that's that anyway, right? So that's that out the way. And we'll move on to what this, what this review is actually really about. And that is the discovery that I made quite recently. And it is my discovery, by the way. Get that into your heads now before we even start. Okay? So when you... This one is going to be like... You know, people have their... Jeremy's got, you know, La Nuit de l'Homme. And uh, Mr. Smelly has several. Mansera, Cedrat, Boise, things like that. And um, there's, there's Lex with his... What one's his Lex like? Lapidus Porom, things like that. That's kind of saying this is going to be my signature fragrance. It isn't. It's just one that I discovered, right? I'm just backtracking on myself here, right? I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. You can probably tell. Anyway, the, the one that I'm going on about now is Club de Nuit Intense Man, the oil version, okay? Now, I went into Beauty Base, my local one, which I do quite often, peruse, and the manageress... I think she's the manageress now. She, she, she was at least the assistant manager. Hello, Magda. Uh, let me know in the comments or the next time I see you, probably. She's going to be probably tomorrow or whatever. Um, came up to me and said, try this. And she got this, their, their tester out and, and, and gave me a try of it. It has beautiful presentation. And it comes in this box like this, which slides out. Sound effects, please. It's a very nice presentation. It's a lovely bottle. It's a 20 ml bottle. It's an alcohol free oil. It's a nice thick glass. The presentation is lovely on it. And I don't know how well you can see that or whether I'm focusing right now. This is the second video I've just shot. I've just done one that I was really happy with and it was all blurry, a bloody camera. And it unscrews and it's very thick syrupy oil and there is an applicator stick made of glass here which I'm just going to do a little dab on the back of my hand again even though I'm wearing something else today doesn't matter I'm, I'm on a layering mission today anyway this is the fourth thing in that in that uh, particular excursion so yeah the bottle is extremely nice it's uh, like I say a 20 mil alcohol free oil and it's very, very nice indeed. When I first applied it, my initial reaction, by memory, because I didn't have the, the spray on at the time, was that it's a bit softer, a bit more rounded, a bit sweeter than the spray. The spray one is, is almost acidic, and the lemon vibe I get from the spray one, it's like... Um, Lemon sherbet. You know the sweets? You know the stuff inside the sweets that's citric acid, basically? That's what this is like. It's almost acidic and almost a bit bilious in nature. I'm not saying it smells like bile, but you know that feeling you get in your throat when you burp in a little bit? Is that too much information? No, you know that sort of bile -y. That's almost like the smell version of that. The smell version of how that feels, not how the smell version of how it smells. So it's a bit acrid and, and bilious, almost. This one is softer and less chemically. It is synthetic still in nature, but not quite, doesn't have that leap in your face, kind of make your eyes water kind of synthetic nature that the spray seems to have, right? It's got a softer, more, a subdued kind of smell about it. It does smell slightly different, not just the effect it has on you from, from being alcohol free, but the actual smell itself is, is, is a bit different and softer. So, the second thing I noticed about it was the first time I tried it on my skin, because the, the, in the shop she had put it on a piece of paper, which made it immediately go translucent, it looked like it had been dipped in cooking oil. And on skin, it smelt lovely and it was very strong. I mean, I'd already, I, had, I was wearing something that day, I wonder if I can remember what I was wearing. I think I was actually wearing Dior Sauvage. I think I was wearing Sauvage, the original Sauvage Parfum that I have, right? And I put this on and I could smell this as well as the Sauvage. That gives you an idea of how strong it is, because Sauvage is nuclear on me, right? But what I did notice was that after about five hours, it was largely gone, or so I thought, right? Because I tried it again after that, and this time it was a 12 hours job, and I could still smell it the next day, right? So it doesn't have the same projection 
that the spray does, but it has a fantastic longevity, seriously. I wouldn't suggest putting this on clothing, but I imagine if you did, maybe you had something black and it would be all right. It might even stain black, you know, when it goes into a dark patch or whatever. I wouldn't do that if I were you, but if you did put it onto clothing, I'm sure it would last for days. This little bit where I put it on the back of my hand has gone into a little slick. Um, you won't be able to see from there, and I can't come closer because I can't be bothered. And uh, the, the, um, the camera won't... I wish you could just say camera zoom. It probably will do in future, won't you be able to do that type of thing, but... Um, it's made a, made an oil slick on the back of my hand. In a nutshell, the fragrance that is Club de Nuit Intense Man, Aventus Killer, Aventus Clone, it's a nice fragrance. It, it does have a, a cloying kind of chemically nature to it, but I, I do still like it. And this one, it's just a bit more like a refined, like an older, older sibling or something to it, you know? It's the one that says, just be quiet, to that one, you know? And, and, and takes it home when they've had too much to drink. Gets it in a taxi or whatever, you know? Looks after it. This is the sensible older brother. There you go. And like I say, this one is largely discovered by me, all right? I haven't had somebody else come and tell me how good this is. I found it myself, right? I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have. It's been the first time I've been back in a little while, so I'm getting back into swimming. I, I won't leave it for so long this time. I'll try not to. I'm not going to promise. I'll just say it. And um, that's been about it. On the past few videos, I've forgotten to say... Comment if you wanna, like if you like, subscribe if you would, press the notifications thing, which is the little bell beside the part where the, the comments start, and it will give you a notification when I put new videos up. Apart from that, have a wonderful day, evening, morning, whatever it is where you are. And it just remains for me to say, safe man, chill out, enough respect, and I'll catch you next time. Sweet.